All right, so hi everyone. I'm here again, this time working in Windows to show you how to make a graph in Microsoft Excel. I am working with Excel 2010, so if you are on 2007, uh, there might be a couple of discrepancies between um, this version and yours. Um, so you'll notice I have all of my temperature and all of my glucose data in my Excel spreadsheet currently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this data and I'm actually going to um, generate a graph from it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the insert tab and I'm then going to come over here and find the scatter plot. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move over to this particular diagram which is the scatter, scatter with smooth lines and markers. And I will click on that. Okay, and it currently shows nothing in the chart area because I haven't selected any data. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to right click on the chart area. I'm going to come up here to select data, click on that, um, and it's asking for a chart data range. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to click on this button here which basically allows you to select a, a range of cells that you'd like to use for your chart. That will change the input window to this small thing here. And you can actually type in this if you'd like to, but all we really need to do is drag our mouse over the area. So I'm going to come over here to zero, and I'm going to start there, and I'm going to drag. So I click and hold, and I drag all the way over to there. And then when I click this button again, that now utilizes that information for my chart. Okay, so I'll click OK. Okay, now we need to clean this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the series legend by clicking on it and then hitting delete. I'm then going to get rid of the grid lines, so I'm going to click on them and you'll notice they're all selected with the little circles at the end. I'm going to right click and I'm going to come down to format grid lines and left click. And then I'm just going to choose no line for line color. And I will close that. Okay, so I've removed my grid lines, and now what I want to work with is I want to work on the ranges that I'm using for the high and low value, because you'll notice that currently I've got it going into the negatives on this side. So I'm going to start with my vertical axis. I'm going to select it by left-clicking, and then I'm going to right-click on it. And I'm going to go to Format Axis, and I'm going to set my minimum value to fixed, and I'm going to put that at zero. So I'll delete the negative, put it to zero, and I will close. Okay, so this is now readjusted, and I'm going to actually do the same thing for this one. Um, for the horizontal axis, I will select it and then right-click, Format Axis, and I'm going to do fixed value of zero, and I'm going to do a fixed maximum value of actually 105, so I'll change that. I'll click Close. Okay, so now I can increase the size of my chart without fear of the axes or the values changing. And it's looking pretty good, but it's missing something. And that something happens to be the titles that go on either axis and, of course, the title that goes at the top. So I'm going to come up here to Chart Tools and click Layout. And then I'm going to come over here to Chart Title and Axis Titles. So I'll start with the Chart Title centered and overlay title. Um, you can do above chart as well. Uh, I think I'm going to do above chart just because that way it won't cover up any of the charts information. Okay, so I'm going to basically say effect of temperature on lactase activity. Okay, so we now have a title. And now I just want to get the titles for my axes. So I'll click here and I'll do primary horizontal axis title. And I'll choose title below axis. I'll click on this. And then I'll just type in temperature C so that I know it's in Celsius. And then I'm going to come back up to axis titles, left click back down to primary vertical axis and I'm going to do a rotated title which will display the text um, sideways. So I'll click that. I'll double click here, delete everything inside of that box. And I'm going to type glucose milligrams per deciliter. Close parentheses. And of course, if you want to, 
Um, you can change the font size, so I'll change this actually to 12, so it'll be a little bigger. Okay, and I'll do the same thing here. Okay, font size to 12. There we go. Okay, and I can increase my graph area a little more if I want to. And there we go, we're ready to go. So all you have to do to integrate this into um, your document is right click and choose copy. And this copies it just like if you were to copy text. And then if you open up a Word document or any other kind of Microsoft Office document or any place that will accept pasting, then basically you just click where you want to paste this in that document and then you press either control um, V to paste or you can right click and uh, that will bring up the paste option. So I'll uh, open up Word but this might take a little time here um, so bear with me. Alright so here's my document and then I can either right click and that will bring up paste options. Um, I don't want to deal with the paste options so I'm actually just going to close that and I'm going to click control V and there's my chart um, and you can basically then um, inside of this document you can then shrink it in terms of its area everything along those lines so that it'll fit better with the rest of your paper okay so that's pretty much all you need to know um, and that covers uh, everything that I want to cover for working in Excel and making graphs um, in Windows